So, the type of narcissistic people to avoid. We're going to really talk about that shit, man. Because, man, that is a topic that I will just go in for ages and ages and ages because there's so much demonic shit that be going on in the fucking multiverse with these fucking sociopaths and these two-faced and joker characters amongst nonfiction that just be gang-stalking along with their fucking weak-ass tyrants that do this fucking false collective programming of indoctrination. It's fucking bullshit, bro. So the types of narcissistic people to avoid. Let me tell you this shit. Anybody... And I repeat, any fucking body who has the audacity to always run to other individuals about you and never go and fucking face you head on. If they don't want to face you head on in the dojo or in the fucking boxing ring and they always want to talk shit about you behind your back to other people. That's how you know you come across a fucking narcissist, a fucking covert narcissist, a fucking sociopath, psychopath, demon, what have you. This shit is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you this too. Anybody who sticks up for a demonic being that talks so much shit about a otherworldly, intelligent, emotionally advanced chosen one. And that being who sticks... That individual who has the nerve to stick with the sociopathic psychopath that talks so much shit about the spiritual being. And, and man, that, that just tell you that that particular individual is fucking fake. They're fake as the fucking sociopathic psychopath that been talking shit about that fucking spiritual being. Because I can tell you right now, I had, man, in my experiences, when it comes to these fucking weak ass demon rim alien slave owner beings man the individuals who fucking talk shit about me for the longest just being on my fucking ship being on my ship for no fucking apparent reason because they're so miserable with their own fucking life when narc when those narcissistic beings who gain stalk me and get and talk shit about me from the surface just have no fucking life because they they don't have no fucking emotion they don't have no mind heart and soul i had individuals you know i had individuals who would s still try to stick with fucking weak ass demonic or beings even when they saw those demonic beings just fucking doing things to derail me and fucking tarnish me anybody who ever sticks by motherfuckers who tarnish me and talk shit about me behind my back if they still stuck with them they fake as fuck and they don't need to fucking be around me and you, you know and that's where introversion comes into play introversion introverts are created through going through so much bullshit dealing with these fucking weak ass demonic or sociopaths and imposter spirit psychopaths who just hate on spiritual beings all the time because narcissists are fucking intimidated. They're fucking intimidated by fucking these. They're intimidated, man. They're bitch made afraid, intimidated by these spiritual beings like myself. Because when you just a person, an individual, regardless of your fucking alien race that shares so much soulful talent and everything. When you do your fucking all for the multiverse, it irritates and pisses off the fucking demon realm sociopaths and psychopath and positive spirits who just try to roam behind the scenes hating on you and shit and try to throw you off your path. <laughs> Trying to like, you know, use other people to shut you down and shit. Like, it's fucking bullshit, bro. It's bullshit, sis. Stay away from people who don't even know how to see a fucking demonic being. And they still trying to side. They trying to take the side of the fucking narcissistic, covert, two-faced joker motherfuckers. That talk shit about you behind your back. And, and that one individual is being like, well, I know these demonic beings don't like you, but I'm cool with them as well. 
you know what? Don't fuck with them no more. Just stop it. That's all I got to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because real spiritual beings, genuine, soulful God stars and goddesses, they won't take that shit if they find out that sociopaths and psychopaths are talking shit about you and trying to derail you. They'll be ready to go to war for you. You know what I'm saying? The only individuals who went to war for me was like people that I didn't even know for like people that I didn't even grow up in my childhood and in my current lifetime. They went to war for me when it came to these fucking demonic beings who talk so much shit about me behind my back. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> you know? And like me, like, I'm the type of person who protects my fucking aura from these fucking sociopaths and psychopath beings because I don't got time for the bullshit. I'm not even going to bring natal charts into the shit because an individual could be born on the same fucking day as you and be a whole demonic being. Like, shit. Um, like my friend Goldie Goddess, man. You know, I met her on Facebook. Her name's Goldie Goddess, man, you know. And they ain't got a weak ass fucking narcissist like Tiffany Ellis. You know, aka fucking a Knox Schumann L, whatever the fuck. You know, Tiffany L, she's born on the same day as Goldie Goddess. She was born on the same day as Goldie's Goddess. And Tiffany Ellis is a fucking demonic imposter spirit narcissist. Wow, Goldie Goddess is a soulful being. So, of course, that whole name, of course, that whole like you know birthday thing don't matter when it comes to demonic beings. Like it's just random with motherfuckers, like these fucking draconians, Men in Black, the Maserex, the fucking Bellatrix, you know, <laughs> these fucking hypnosis, mind control narcissists. That runs a matrix on our precious engine number multiverses, man. They are not meant to be fucked with. At all. Seriously. And yeah, stay away from people. That's how you know you come across a narcissist. Narcissistic beings, they only talk to you when it's convenient. You know what I'm saying? The only time when they do talk to you is always... It's always some bullshit. It's always some bullshit. You feel like your fucking aura is like being drained when they come talk to you out of the fucking blue. I witnessed that before with the Tyler Bells of the world, the Shamars of the world, the Coley Dixons of the world, the fucking Kia Ismals of the world, the Yahalamis of the world, the, the DJs of the world. All these weak ass fucking soulless sociopaths, psychopaths of the fucking Matrix. That's not of the angel number multiverse. That's not from Earth, not from Jupiter, not from any universe, whether it be universe 1, universe 533, universe 21, universe 28. These narcissistic beings that I am telling you about, they are not from the angel number multiverse. They are not of these worlds. They are of a fucking artificial prison matrix realm, an empty vibrational realm. Like, come on, bro. Like, that shit is fucking crazy, bro. And yo, well, let me tell you something. This video here will shed a lot of fucking genuine light. Genuine light from the angel number multiverses to expose these fucking artificial light sociopaths and, and psychopath demonic beings that you need to avoid. You know what I'm saying? I made videos on YouTube around November 8th, 2020 where I exposed my jealous haters and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If you type in jealous haters of Jules, Etz, or fucking whatever on YouTube, you'll find it. You'll find it and you'll see the fucking sociopaths and psychopaths you need to avoid because it's a lot. It's like over countless numbers of them. And I tell you, a lot of these psychopaths and sociopaths that be hating on these spiritual beings, they fucking destroy themselves every fucking day. And I'm glad that these sociopaths and psychopaths and, and psychopaths are destroying themselves every day for trying to fuck with spiritual beings. Because I can tell you right now, any fucking psychopath or sociopath that try to fuck with me the wrong way, it didn't end too well for them. <laughs> because they know, well, they didn't know, but they fucking know now. <laughs> they, but they don't comprehend the strength that I'm protected by my fucking soul family. I'm protected by fucking angels of the angel number multiverses. So those fucking demonic beings who try to come at me 
at any fucking angle, they get fucking evaporated. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hold on for a second. You see, you see these gloves right here? You see these gloves right here? You see these gloves right here, man? Every time that I go do some shadow martial arts, I wear these gloves, picturing myself beating the fuck and destroying and erasing these fucking sociopaths and psychopaths out of existence. That's why I, when I put these on, when I do my shadow martial arts, when I do kicking and punching and all that shit, I picture... Demonic beings who ever talk shit about me behind my back and motherfuckers who are just two-faced and shit hating on me when they wasn't really soul family. I pictured myself beating the fuck out of them with these gloves on. Matter of fact, to make myself be more intimidating to these fucking narcissistic beings, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. When I, when I put this on, when I put these gloves on right here, I picture my fucking self destroying these fucking narcissistic beings. You know what I'm saying? My my introvert my my introvertance my introversion, me being an introvert, came from dealing with two faced Joker motherfuckers, like the Tyler Bells of the world, the Shamars of the world, the DJs, the Coley Dixon, the fucking K Conscious, your Holomits of the worlds. You know what I'm saying? Fake ass motherfuckers. And any motherfuckers who ever try to side with them. And they see that, that they be on bullshit. But they still wanted to take their side and shit. I don't fuck with them either. Because this right here. When I do shadow martial arts. I picture myself erasing the, those fucking narcissistic beings. That I'm telling you all to not fuck with. That's how it is man. For real. That's how it that's how it be. Like in in every single true, genuine spiritual being, aka otherworldly, soulful, emotionally and intelligent advanced individual like me had went through the same fucking thing. And it'd be sad if individuals who who like <laughs> tell you that they've been through so much bullshit in their life and then they they can't they can't understand when you come across these demonic sociopath or psychopath beings that try to come in your life in your journey to try to throw you off and try to make you have all these um sad emotions because that's what sociopaths and psychopaths come to do to try to drain a soulful being's energy when when you come across people who claim and tell you that they've been through so much bullshit in their life where, where they might have a, a, a auntie that might have like caused them fucking pain or an uncle that might have caused them pain or whoever in their household caused them pain or whoever at school caused them pain and shit like that they they automatically should be able to resonate with you if they're not resonating with you then I don't know what's wrong with them it's like they drunk or something <laughs> so it's some bullshit and when you try to tell drunk people about sociopaths and psychopaths are meant to be avoided. They think you crazy. <laughs> you know, that's like me when I tell this type of stuff, this type of information to any, like I'm telling you all on video, I always avoid people who drink a lot of alcohol, whether it might be liquor or whatever, and people who smoke a lot of legalized, met, a lot of legalized medicine or whatever. If they smoke anything legal or drink a lot of liquor, I avoid telling them things or, or you know, to avoid sociopaths and psychopaths because they think I'm crazy. It's cr man, but a newborn, a newborn baby, regardless of the alien race, be able to comprehend me because the intuition is not fucked up. You you feel what I'm saying? But individuals that are born with intuition, they they comprehend where I'm coming from. And they could resonate with me and they would never try to go against me when I talk about this type of shit. You know? Oh yeah, another thing too, man. When it comes to individuals you need to avoid, you know, man, it could also be with biological cousins. You know what I'm saying? Psst, bro, I have biological cousins that probably don't like me, but but never gonna say it to my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I probably have biological cousins who 
don't even like me. Anytime they do say something about me, they, you know, they pro- it's probably some hatred. I would never know it because I don't, <laughs> like, they would never come out and face me in the fucking boxing ring or, or in the fucking dojo or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, like, anybody who talks shit about me behind my back, hating on me, whether they might be a biological a biological individual or non-biological, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? My angels and my soul family will deal with they fucking weak ass. You feel me? Always avoid people who don't talk to you every day because those are fucking narcissistic beings. They always want to hate on you behind your back playing Two-Face and the Joker and shit. Always fuck with the people who stay in touch with you persistently. You know what I'm saying? Because those, because, you know, otherworldly, soulful beings, spiritual beings, they comprehend that shit all the time. Like, we only, because me, I only fuck with people who be in touch with me persistently. I don't fuck with people who be on and off and shit. Like, that that gives me fishy, that, that makes me, that gives me fishy vibes about that individual. And I'd be like, they up to something. Like, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn that with the Tyler Bells of the world, the Shamars of the world, all these motherfucking weak ass motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's all I got to say to you all, man. These weak-ass, narcissistic, d room alien, slave owner, minions, and their fucking tyrants. They weak as shit, and they destroying themselves. But I'm going to tell you this. When the day when all those fucking sociopaths, psychopath, two-faced joker motherfuckers just fucking be deceased and their physical energy is, is gone out of existence, I will celebrate. I will be the happiest person in the fucking multiverse when this happens. When I get ready to fight these fucking demon alien slave owners with my genuine, true, authentic soul family of across all of the angel number multiverses, man. That's some real deep jewels, crystal live, metamorphosis, talk for your mind, heart, and soul.